Hello. This is a uh, standard electric meter that shows the uh, power being uh, sucked up by the house at this moment. And uh, very shortly, this thing should reverse for the very first time since it's been installed and start running backwards. And I estimate at a rate at least five times as fast as it's going forward, it should be going backwards because it's in the middle of the day. Uh, this is a grid tie system that I just finished putting together for someone. And uh, this is kind of a historic moment. What happens is the, uh, the inverters by law and by common sense, they have to wait for the grid to be stable. And I apologize for this focus. Um, in other words, that the power goes out or it's going on and off because of electrical storm or whatever. It waits about five minutes before it uh, judges it to be good enough to uh, sync back up to and back feed power into. And uh, for many reasons, safety mostly, but also to protect itself from uh, spikes and whatnot. But anyway, hopefully this won't take much longer because I want to get it on uh, camera whenever it uh, actually does reverse. And it should be any second, really. But anyway, this uh, meter right now is probably showing, uh, oh, there it goes. It was showing probably, uh, oh, 300 forward or so. And now it's going backwards at about, uh, well, approximately 1,200 or give or take. Uh, solar panels are a little hard to figure sometimes. Uh, I've been off grid for nearly 20 years, exclusively using solar and wind power. And uh, it, a lot to do with temperature and the sun angle and all that. But uh, as a rule of thumb, they do work a lot better when they're cool. So you'll get a lot better performance on a cool uh, fall day than you will in the middle of summer. Uh, all things being equal. If the temperature's lower, it will put out a heck of a lot more power. So, And in fact, they do rate them at uh, a pretty low temperature, like 65 degrees or something like that. So when you put them flat on a roof of a house, and you don't let much air uh, get underneath them, you're pretty much guaranteeing you're going to get about two-thirds or less of their output uh, as a permanent installation like that. So I like to ground mount them. Uh, so they have plenty of air and uh, you're not drilling holes in a roof and all that. I will put them on a roof, but and I have, but I much prefer them on the ground where you can get to them, especially if they're on a tracker, it makes it even nicer. But I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I'll take you around and show you what the uh, panels look like. Okay, uh, here we are. Uh, these are Kia Sierra panels, there's six of them. They're each 215 watts, which, uh, like I said earlier, depending on the temperature and everything, well, they'll put out about 1,200 watts on a nice, uh, cool day. Anyway, I built this rack out of well stem and uh, square tubing, and it does tilt. Uh, kind of looks like a construction site here because it kind of still is. I'll take you around here and show you what the back of it looks like. Um, each one of these panels is pretty simple really. It's 40 watts, I mean 40 volts rather coming out and uh, like I said 215 uh, watts so probably give or 5 amps give or take. And it goes into that little box up there which is called a microinverter which turns into 110 volts. Each one of these has one and each one plugs into this manifold, that's what I call it this wiring bundle that goes all the way across and hooks to each one of those and at the end of the line there it goes down into the ground, under the ground over to the house and into the circuit panel through a meter which measures it and uh, as you can see it's built pretty robust uh, it's one inch diameter bolts at the pivot points. I uh, basically laid this out on saw horses and drilled and bolted everything together using uh, stainless steel hardware and between up there if you can see I don't know uh, no metal is actually touching anything else without a stainless steel washer between it um, I learned the hard way years ago that 
water likes to get trapped in places like that and you end up getting rust. Um, and like I said, this is still kind of, it's not 100% finished right now. It needs to be zip tied and this counterweight mounted. This arm is going to have the counterweight on it. And the counterweight will keep it at a midpoint, which is equal to about the latitude here, which is 33 degrees. Right now it's sitting at about, I don't know, 35 or something. As you can see there, uh, I love those things. I've got several of them. I usually end up leaving them with the customer when I'm done because <laughs> they like to see what their panels are set at. And uh, anyway, they're pretty cheap. You can pick them up for about 10 bucks. And uh, this is the other end here where you see all the ground strap coming to a point and down and across and down to the ground. But anyway, that's about it. Uh, like I said, she's uh, putting out about 1,200 watts so the neighbors can run their fish tank and all that other stuff they're using their power for. But it's running the meter here backwards, which is what it's all about. Can't control what the neighbors do, but <laughs> you can make things a lot cheaper for yourself. Uh, the neat thing about this, uh, one more thing, uh, this is kind of a small array. It's a very conservative uh, person that uses this, but although they do have a freezer and a refrigerator and all the normal stuff, most people would probably have two or three times this. And I've seen people that need ten times as much as this individual needs. So it just depends on how conserving they are, and that's... Um, the main thing you need to do is go in there and change out everything that's inefficient for the most efficient that's reasonably priced and do that first before you start doing this crazy stuff but uh, whenever you uh, size your array if you're lucky it will be the size of a nice little carport well if this was twice as big 2500 watts you could park a car under it and uh, that's a nice little bonus you can park a car under your solar panels and keep your car from getting paint burned off of it but anyway, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed my first uh, video, and uh, <laughs> at least about solar. And uh, have a good day.